Okay, so the next class that we're going to review is going to be the mage. So the first card we're going to talk about is the babbling book, a one mana, one one. I actually think this card is awesome. There's just so much synergy, yeah. especially when it adds a random mage spell, since all mage spells are actually fairly strong, as we know, that they're all their secrets, uh, the bird spells that they have. And one thing I really like about this card is that it comes with Brand Bronze Beer. It does. Giving you a lot of value. <laughs> I don't yeah. see this card seeing yeah. play in Temple Mage though, because it's not yeah. impactful enough mm -hmm. by itself as a one drop, and giving you a random spell is not the like, the best effect specifically for Temple Mage. With, with aggro decks and tempo decks, you want to see consistency in your deck, and this is not does not give you consistency. This isn't Battle Cry, draw a card, mm -hmm. and it, battle one a one mana would a one mana one one minion that has Battle Cry draw a card see play. I don't know, but giving you a generating a random spell that might not help your game plan like. Like mm -hmm. generating a capitalist tone. I, I guess with Temple I'm gonna, Mage. I'm like, going to disagree with you right there, but yeah. no, no, please keep going. Yeah, with. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> with Temple Mage, yeah, like you're not going to get the spells you need very often. You might get like Ice Block or something with Temple Mage, and that's not going to help you with your game plan. I actually see this seeing play and actually helping a lot with uh, Reno Mage or a Control mm -hmm. Mage. Because even though a 1 mana 1 1 doesn't seem very impactful, it's. It, it's still a minion that they have to deal with, and with the mage hero power, since mage doesn't have that, like control mage doesn't have that many turn two plays, uh, like coupling it with the hero power is gonna be like able to take down a three two, like take down a huge toad, take down a king's out. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's actually still gonna be relevant, and giving you that spell is gonna be good. Mm -hmm. It synergizes with brand as you said earlier, yeah, yeah. and that brand is a staple of Reno mage yeah, and control mage. Yeah. It's just that at the moment I don't see, like I don't personally see a uh, viable Reno mage or control mage build yet. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just lacking a few tools. Yeah, a few tools. Yeah. yeah. But this is definitely it's, one of those tools that Reno Major is looking for. A, a, a one-drop minion that sort of contests the board and gives yeah. you a spell in return. And Reno Mage will be able to make use of that spell and like convert value from it. Yeah, because the Reno Mage is really comparable to before standard, which is the Grinder Mage. Yeah. Where they have Echo, yeah, Medivh, and Duplicate. Where they get tons of value off the minions I actually play. But now we're getting more kind of like spell value. I guess like this is what Reno Mage is actually looking for. Since they run one copy of each. This actually allows you to actually set up a brand spawn speed, like you have enough time. Yeah, so I agree with you, it doesn't fit really into a tempo mage, I feel more of a control base oriented type of deck. Since you're skipping turn one, like the yeah. vast majority of the time is yeah. a tempo mage, you're never unhappy mm -hmm. to see this in your opening hand. Yeah, exactly. Playing it as a body yeah. and getting around this spell. Yeah, yeah, right? even having hero power, that's already one turn to waste it, right? And so late this game, already pretty good. there's a really high yeah. chance of you getting a relevant spell from this. Yeah. Whether it be Cabalist, Tome, it be Effigy, or whatever, yeah. it, it's still. Yeah, I love those cards. Yeah, yeah. I love cards that give value. It, like it's an this. interesting card, yeah. at, but unfortunately, I don't see it. Yeah. Uh, seeing play in either for freeze mage like yeah. in either of the current two popular mage archetypes mm -hmm. which is freeze mage for obvious reasons and tempo mage because it's not consistent enough. i'm gonna see it as a two up in all tempo mage decks all right <laughs> all tempo right. mage really lacks early game that's his biggest problem you have to start with mana worm otherwise you're just not taking the board so this gives you two more one drops and this um the body's not that great, but it's still a one drop, one one. It's mm -hmm. like Web Spinner. Web Spinner was in every Hunter deck because it was a one one beast, a turn one play. It gave you more like fuel afterwards. This does exactly that. It's a battle cry too. Dang. The difference with Hunter and Mages is it, it doesn't have the beat. It doesn't have the beast archetype going for it though. Like, no, but yeah. it's got a lot the, of. It has a spell thing going for it. All spells synergize with Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is an and Flame Waker. Which is in every Temple Mage deck. It synergizes with Flame Waker, but it doesn't synergize with Sorcerer's Apprentice in the late it game. It does. It doesn't because you're not late game. We're not talking late game. Yeah, because well, it's going to give you the, the additional reason... fuel to use as a Tempo Mage to fuel that Flame Waker Sorcerer's Apprentice bullshit. Yeah, but the... excuse my language. <laughs> it's just going to give more tools the to, to a with, deck. The difference with Web Spinner and this is because Web Spinner is played as an early game drop. This is drop. also played as, play as this an is early also game an early game play. And, but, that's, that's the idea. But top decking Web Spinner in the late game is not is, is not bad. Top decking this though in the late game as your Tempo Mage, if you get to that point, you're already going to lose. And you might not. This... You might get the fireball you need to kill your opponent. And playing you might get, you is that play... consistent enough though? It's not, but neither not. is Web Spinner. Yeah, but Web Spinner has the it, use the of idea, Houndmaster yeah. and Kill Command, and those are two staple cards. The idea is it's a one drop. One drops yeah. are very easy to fit. One mana, one ones for aggro it, decks is not impactful enough. Period. So I. It don't, gives you a spell. That's you, that's the idea. You're like not if it was a one mana, one one. That's garbage. But this battle card gives you a mage spell. A mage spell. How many mage spells are burn spells? The, a lot. How many of them are, <laughs> are secret? The majority spells? of them are not burn spells, actually. 
They're not, not the majority, but you the get the vast a, majority. You, you have, have a not, decent. Ch- we don't have spells. like a like a chart of probabilities here, but look, I do. I mean, I know them off the top of my head. Most spells are not. What a spells. prodigy! Whoa, what a prodigy! Wow, the king of kimchi. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> man. No, well, okay, but real. So we, how many burn spells do you have? You have you have frostbolt, fireball, you have, fireball, fireball, you have and dragon's blast. breath, you have frostbolt, you have forgotten okay. torch, you have that forbidden flame. You have, forbidden flame, you have, not you burn have damage. pyroblast. Yeah, you have that's four burn. You, have you got portal. arcane blast. The portal. You have arcane blast. You have arcane missiles. You have arcane blast isn't burn spell either. It doesn't go face. It's not a face burn spell, but it's it's removal. Burn spell. Getting a removal is damn important. Yeah, but... Look, it just gives you fuel. It's a one mana one one. It gives you fuel. It replaces itself. I just feel like the synergy just It's a tempo there. card. It's yeah. not a control card. It's a tempo card. There you go. Yeah. No, well, what... I don't know. It, ha- it has flexibility. It has you're, you're, it, yeah, like yeah, I said, yeah, you're, you're, I'm, you're, view, I'm viewing this differently from you are. You're not happy playing this on turn one. Yes, you are. No, the thing if, with you don't have a ma- okay, if you don't have a mana worm, that sucks. But at least you have a babbling book. All right. And you get a spell from it. Hell, it's a Frostbolt. You didn't have a Frostbolt turn two, but now you do. Okay, uh, okay, you, okay. You Frostbolt their thing, they play turn one. If it was, if okay, it was okay. Discovered. Yeah, if it was Discovered, oh, that's what I was going to say. If then, it wasn't Discovered, then it would be yeah, overpoweredly good. It'd yeah. be stupidly good, but it's a battle cry. They were thinking... And when you get... Listen. When you get Ice Block off of it, you're just going to be really sad. Or you get any spell that's... That's a fringe really scenario. Be, For the a, most part, you'll get something decent. Yeah. Turn one, you don't have right, Manaworm. Right. You play Babbling Book. Their right. turn one, they play Tunnel Truck. Right, you got right. a Frostbolt! We're, we're gonna move you're gonna on. Kill <laughs> you push another damn one. Mana one, one. <laughs> it's a good one. It's one. Just, it's all right, right, we're moving on. on. Alright, so the next card we're talking about is the Firelands Portal. And the Firelands Portal is the card that a lot of yeah. famous like arena streamers like Crip have been complaining about because not only is it drastically overpowered for its mana cost yeah. in arena, it's also a common card, so you're gonna be seeing it yeah, very lot, often and is the most. And it's in the most ex- uh, recent expansion, so mm-hmm. it also has the expansion bonus. So it's an amazing arena card, yeah. but let's yeah. talk about constructed. Yeah. Uh, Look at this piece of crap. <laughs> The thing is, I, uh, I don't see. I, this is not. You know, you know, you know. When I looked at this card, I thought it would be okay for Reno Mage. Yeah. But then, but then I like I played Reno Mage p- myself. I couldn't fit this card in. Think about it. It's, it's too seven, slow. Yeah, seven it's too mana slow. To it's deal very hard to five get. damage. Yeah, five damage. And the five drop you get. Yeah. It's you're not, not probably you're not, not you're good. You're not going to guarantee anything yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Not getting anything good because the five drops like the. They kind I of minions getting that, control mage. I don't. No, it, it, it generates weird. tempo. No, no, because there's too so many. There's too slow. There's so many other cards Here's, that you can play. That's the best, than this the best card. analogy being flame strike. Yeah. This does not compete with flame strike. Yeah, this this yeah, does not compete with flame strike. Would you run flame strike or this card? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. but it does go face. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, face. it does go face. A yeah, that's bit a good advantage. A little bit of you know. Yeah. You don't want to be. You don't want to be using this to go face. Like it's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To control, right? But it's too slow to actually control. In terms of utility, yes. Yeah. Like, essentially, like, the uh, Forgotten Torch is a lot better than this. I see this having yeah. a possibility of being played, I, I, like, and not a good chance. I don't see it having a good chance either. It could yeah. be, you know, people will I test mean, it, of course. Yeah, yeah, I think it's meant to be, like, it a is strong meant to be, arena card. Which yeah. Mage obviously needs more of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, it's yeah. it's a little... This, this it's card's kind of, a little awkward to use. This card has also been over, like, like spoken about. Like, yeah. A lot of people have been complaining about it. Yeah, yeah. and then what, what way? As in, in the ch- in the fact that like it's a ridiculous arena card and it yeah. should be switched to a rare on epic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just just because yeah. people don't want to see it that much in arena. True, true. I yeah. probably wouldn't want to see this in arena. Just by the virtue of that though, which is why I think there's like a fringe chance that LC playing constructed, just because it's so overpowered in arena. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has to translate uh, into constructed somehow. Right? I, the only way I, I'm gonna see this um, being played in constructed is if you built like a reno deck that oriented around like Yox or on. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Yoxeron, yeah, 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 you're definitely Yeah, 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 because Yoxeron, Yoxeron does run um, Flame Lance. Like, to some people with the, does run the Flame Lance to remove, like, pretty big minions. You can essentially do this with its two and generate, like, a five drop and then fuel Yogg at the same time. But yeah. you can probably figure out, like, a certain deck list to actually include this card. Like, it's not that bad, but I think it's a little bit below average in construction. I think it's too situational yeah. to be included in a deck. Yeah. It will be generated by Cabalus Tome and Babbling Book and, the, and other real content yeah, and that yeah, stuff, yeah, but yeah, you're, not gonna, you're not going to main deck it. Too situational mm-hmm. in the sense that, like, you're not going to make it a turn 7 to play it? Because it's, yeah. it's pretty versatile, if you ask me. You'll, it'll see play. It's 5 damage. It'll five be damage. generated. It won't be included. Yeah. yeah. Because since there's like the meta is pretty fast, like there's a lot of aggressive decks. By the time I hit turn seven, I'd rather use a flame strike than this card. Yeah, yeah. I think of that like that the the uh, argument you just used about um, it not be, only being generated mm-hmm. and only being not being included is like that's what I thought about the uh, hundred card we were discussing, um, the uh, the cat trick. But this card is so much better than the cat trick. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then like it's a different deck. The too, fact right? that we're yeah, a different deck. Those, just, yeah. it, something seems off here. It yeah. It it does seem off like. There definitely needs to be more testing, so... Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, alright. Alright, so the last card, Medis Valet. Two mana, two, three, deals three damage uh, conditional upon you having a secret. This card is crazy. This card is crazy. This card uh, is yeah. freaking crazy. And yeah. it will it will single handedly enable May's secret decks. Yeah. And but the the, the 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 bad thing about this deck, the bad thing about this card though, as in I don't see it like creating an aggressive tempo secret deck, but I I'll, I see it r as like a really really good one off in like Reno Mage or like yeah, it might be Reno it, it Mage, might yeah. be so good that you run it as a two of because if you have Ice Block up, this is just basically two mana it's like a two mana Fire Elemental. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. absolutely crazy, and it's good late game too because it's basically yeah. a Frostball on a body yeah. for two mana. Yeah, which means you'll always you'll almost always be able to curve this up, which is yeah. just absolutely ridiculous. It's 100% active with Ice Block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. However, not it's, it's not a, it's not a tempo card. It's not. A tempo yeah, it's not a tempo it's card. Like, there's a condition to it because so it, it, so you can't play a secret till turn yeah. three in like mm -hmm. in standard, and uh, this is a two drop. So yeah. this is an interesting. Card I guess in sure. wild is pretty good. Yeah, in wild. In wild, this is just wild absolutely is absurd. absurd. Yeah. You coin Mad Scientist and then you play. You you trade it yeah. in and then play. And then you steamroll yeah. your opponent and then you rage quit. Yeah. Damn. That being said, I. My prediction on this card is it's not going to see play. It's the three cards we just talked about were were sort of like hinging on finding a place in Reno Mage. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you add all three cards of these together, they might actually see play. Yeah, they did. They, they might, might yeah, actually they might. make they Reno might Mage or Grinder Mage viable. Maybe like, in a few days. Like yeah. this, I can actually I see know. it in Reno Mage because it does help you control the board and you will play Ice Block. And it's that. not bad yeah. as a two drop as a River Crocolis to contest the Absolutely. board. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it uh, it definitely has. Uh, applications in Reno Mage. Um, the only issue I find with it is it's not a spell. It's it's a minion. So the three damage doesn't synergize with things like uh, Antonite. Well, Reno Mage isn't looking for a spell yeah, yeah, yeah. It just yeah, the Antonite synergy. Reno but Mage isn't even a good deck though. I don't know why you're talking might about be a it good, so much. Might be a good deck with this though. I've seen mm -hmm. Grinder Mage in action and it's done work at really high legend. Mm -hmm. But if, if you know. watch, if you watch like the the biggest uh, Reno Mage enthusiast probably Strife Crow, and he like loves playing Grinder Mage and he does pretty well with it at high legend. I, I've lost a few times to him. And uh, he's been playing with worse builds without Medea's Villet, without Babbling yeah. Book, without the Firelands Portal. And with these three cards, I could f see it actually making a comeback. Or not a comeback. Uh, really just becoming a deck in yeah, general. Sure. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Grinder Mage died with a standard rotation. Yeah. That's what I feel. I don't know, maybe those will bring yeah. it back. Yeah, maybe those these cards. Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see we'll soon. They need to reprint and duplicate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>